In this presentation, we're going to look at one of the modern world's biggest illusions, failure. What does it mean to fail? Is it when you're asked a question and you give the wrong answer? Is it when you have an assignment but don't complete it properly or on time? In both those cases, you can always try again, so long as you are allowed. How true is failure if it's not absolute? These questions are what make dealing with failure difficult. So here are five tips for handling your failures so as not to be overwhelmed by them. 1. Use the failure as a jumping off point. This is the easiest thing to do in response to failure. In fact, it can basically become instinctual. The habit you will want to develop is looking for how you can improve as a result of the failure. Keep in mind this does not always mean obsessively analyzing why you failed. That can drive you crazy. It just means using the failure as a way of stimulating improvement. The improvement does not even need to be related to the failure. In fact, it can be better if it is not related at all. What you want to do is rebound from your failure by putting positive energy into yourself. 2. Looking for the lesson. This tip is similar to the last one. But whereas the previous tip focused on directing your energy away from the problems that caused the failure, this tip is all about the opposite. There is a natural risk in preoccupying yourself with how to prevent future failures. You don't want to live in fear of the future, always analyzing your past and present actions to keep from making mistakes. But it is possible, sometimes necessary, to look at what you did and ask how you could do better. The advantage to this is that it seizes control of the failure. By taking responsibility for it, you give yourself control over what happens next. The failure is no longer an inanimate blemish on your life, but a question that you get to answer. Will you learn from it or not? 3. Plan your future with failure in mind. Overachievers hate this advice, but whether you're doing it in advance, a failure, or immediately after, it will help you to deal with the inevitable. Everyone fails. Everyone makes mistakes. Some are big, some are small, but they are as certain as the tides, so plan around them. Imagine your road to success as a multi-step process. It does not matter how many steps there are, as long as failure is one of them. Accepting your failures as inevitable will make them far less ugly. It will make them part of the cost of doing business. 4. Let yourself feel your feelings. This advice is not going to apply to everyone because some people are highly skilled at feeling and processing their feelings in healthy ways. Other people will feel ashamed, however, of even the most natural of emotional responses. They will not only feel ashamed for failing, but feel ashamed for feeling ashamed. For this kind of person, feeling their feelings free of shame can be difficult, so it is critical to do so. 5. Start something new. The most common mistake in dealing with failure is getting fixated on it. If you try the same thing over and over again, you will lessen yourself. The best way to move on is to move on. Go to a new project, a new opportunity, a new chance to feel like a winner. And listen, a big thing I want to communicate here is that failing doesn't make you a loser, but it can make you feel like one. Just know that no failure is permanent. You can always pick yourself up and try again. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.